Good evening. Thank you for joining us for our bulletin. My name is Wavinya Wanyasa. Now, government is in the process of implementing stringent anti-corruption measures and development policies at county level in a bid to seeing corruption rooted out in the public sector. Speaking during the inaugural ethics round table uh, that it was aimed at promoting requisite knowledge in ethics, governance and development, Ambassador Amina Mohammed, the Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary, reiterated the need to assess both the business sector and the political environment. Kenya and Africa by extension aspires to create a modest society defined by virtues and business operations with the ultimate goal of transforming the society into being, well, a corrupt-free Kenya. Kenya has taken a wide range of measures to ensure good governance and put in place an effective public service. As you know, we are committed to a policy of zero tolerance to corruption and have established an elaborate institutional and legal framework for combating corruption. Further, she noted that government has instituted major reforms aimed at enhancing professionalism and efficiency in public service, which include the introduction of measurable performance standards through the performance contract. Government has also encouraged progressive reforms within the international systems in efforts to ensure that a corrupt, free and sustainable development agenda is achieved. Kenyans and Africans as uh, a people must rise to the, to the reality that ethics and governance are key pillars of our desired future. Stakeholders have now been urged to complement government efforts by having positive synergies and forming partnerships with all actors. The efforts of governments require to be complemented by positive synergies from all stakeholders. Partnerships should be sought from all actors and sectors in order to build bridges across economic, social and environmental dimensions of sustainable development. It is expected further that the resolutions will be presented to the General Assembly of the United Nations for considerations as part of positive Millennium Development Goals, otherwise referred to as Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs.